Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday. We're going to start off today by reviewing the words that we're learning to say with our hands this week. Our Monday, the first word that we learned was, I'll give you a hint. It starts with the letter D and it makes the sound D, D, duck. Nice job. The way we say duck is our two fingers and our thumb open and close. Duck. Nice job. The second word we learned to say on Tuesday starts with the letter F and makes the sound F. Do you remember what it was? Flower. Nice job. The way we say flower is we take our four fingers and our thumb, hold them together, and smell the flower just like this. Nice job. Now the third word we're going to learn this week that is new is right behind me. And it starts with letter B, which makes the sound B, B, butterfly. And we're going to make the word butterfly by crossing our hands like this, looping our thumbs, and flying just like a butterfly. Can you do that? Butterfly. Nice job. And we're going to go on to our story today. It's not about butterflies, because I don't have any books about butterflies at home. But it's still a fun story. But first, we need to sing our listening song. So let's start with that. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, voices quiet, bodies calm. This is how we listen, this is how we listen, at circle time, at circle time. The story today that we're going to read is Pete the Cat, Go Pete Go by James Dean. I'm going to move this a little bit so you can see it better. I just love the colors. They're so bright and cheerful. It's a beautiful day and Pete the Cat has decided to take his bike for a ride. Nothing makes Pete happier than feeling the sun on his fur and the breeze on his face. Vroom, 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 vroom. Turtle has a new race car. Who wants to have a race, he says. Not me, says Grumpy Toad. My motorcycle has a flat tire. Not me, says Emma. My car is too old and slow. Not me, says Callie. My bus is a work of art. It's not meant for racing. I'll race you, says Pete knowing how much Turtle likes to race. But your bike has no motor, says Turtle. My car is super quick. I'll win for sure. That's okay, says Pete. I just want to try my best and have fun. Everyone is excited for the big race. On your mark, get set, go, Callie shouts. Turtle steps on the gas pedal and vroom, zooms away. Pete waves goodbye and then pedals off. Pete sees Turtle up ahead. Turtle slows down to let Pete catch up. Check this out, shows Turtle. He presses a button and... Fins appear! Whoa, check it out! Now Turtle's race car goes even faster! Vroom, vroom. Pete's bike doesn't have fins, but he does have a basket. He stops and takes out a tarty red apple. Mmm, nothing is better than a tasty red apple on a beautiful day. Turtle sees that Pete is way behind. He spies a diner up ahead. Might as well grab a bite to eat, Turtle says, as he pulls into a parking spot. Yum, says Turtle, eating a grilled cheese sandwich. He is in no rush. He is sure he will win the race. Dessert, the waitress asks. Don't mind if I do, Turtle says. While Turtle finishes his lunch, Pete continues. Pedaling. The sun is high and the breeze is blowing. It's a beautiful day for a race. Pete sees Turtle 
leaving the diner. Pete waves hello, but Turtle doesn't wave back. Turtle just jumps in his car and peels off. I guess he didn't see me, Pete shrugs. But Turtle did see Pete. He knows that Pete isn't going to give up easily. So Turtle presses a button and his tires inflate into mag wheels that let him swerve around the curves at top speed. Wow, those are big wheels. V -v 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 vroom! Pete passes a rose bush as he goes around a curve. Pete knows he should keep racing, but he can't resist. The roses are just so beautiful. He has to stop to smell them. Mmm, roses smell so good. Turtle sees that he has a huge lead. He knows he's going to win. He stops for a nice cool glass of lemonade, and that's when he sees the hammock hanging between two trees. He is exhausted from, <laughs> from racing so fast. He figures a quick nap will help him in the home stretch. There he is napping. <sighs> Pete pedals past and sees Turtle sleeping. That's cool, Pete thinks as he rides by as quietly as he can. Turtle must really be tired. I'm glad he's getting some rest. Grumpy Toad finds Turtle fast asleep. Wake up, Turtle, says Grumpy Toad. If you don't get back on the race, Pete is going to win. That's impossible, says Turtle, thinking it must be a joke. But it's no joke. Turtle presses a button and... Rocket boosters appear, making him go super duper fast. Do you see the rocket boosters? Froom! But by the time Turtle nears the finish line, Pete has already won the race! Oh, what a shocker! How did you do it? Turtle asks. Slow and steady, says Pete. Maybe next time, instead of racing, we can ride together. Great idea, says Turtle. What a great race. What a great day. Ah, well, that's one cool cat. And now we're going to sing our butterfly song. Do you see all the numbered butterflies behind me? They're going to go with the song. Are you ready? We're going to start with the numbers. One, two, and three how it goes. One little, two little, three little butterflies. Four little, five little, six little butterflies. Seven little, eight little, nine little butterflies. Ten little butterflies floating through the air. We can even do this when we sing. Want to do it again? Let's do it one more time. I'll point to the numbers. One little, two little, three little butterflies. Four little, five little, six little butterflies. Seven little, eight little, nine little butterflies. Ten little butterflies flying through the air. Good job. Let's focus on the numbers a little bit more. You ready? You can say them in Spanish too. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Ten little butterflies. Do you want to see them in French as well? Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. Nice job. Maybe you can find 10 things to count at home too. 
and I'm gonna say goodbye and I'm gonna make another video with a little activity a little bit later on. Bye friends.